The claim I will be responding to is that America's prison rehabilitation system failed to work to its full potential. Uh, my opponent's secondary claims were our prisons are financially ineffective, prisons failed to rehabilitate, and the conditions in which prisoners are held and failed to produce positive outcomes or successful rehabilitation. In response to his first claim, the advocate states that uh, roughly $35,000 a year is found the average prisoner. Even though it is, an ac it, it is accurate, it is lacking in that there should be a breakdown, so to speak, of what the expenses are. For example, um, when I did some research of my own, I discovered that, um, that that also includes costs, to, uh, costs of the bill to, excuse me, uh, costs including land and building expenses for the prisons themselves, not just the prisoners. And on, av on average, in 2008, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average American spends around $50,000 a year just in expenses for themselves. So therefore, how is $35,000 a year in comparison to the average American spending? Um, and it, is, it's, it makes sense because if because prisoners, they are people too. They have they have the same some sort of the same needs that that um, the other average American does. So it is the expenditures are justified. Um, if prisons need reform, shouldn't they be reformed to help better equip the prisoners to become functioning members of society? And that requires money too. Um, in response to the second claim, according to the advocate, two out of three prisoners are rearrested and returned uh, return to prison. This is true, but it is not entirely the fault of the prison system. If prisoners are released back to their former backgrounds and, and back to the original way of life, is it not logical they revert back to their old ways? In these times of economic trial, does it not logically make sense that, that if someone's socio-economic socio status is threatened, won't they try to find a way to, to help themselves and their family in any way they can? The argument, the argument presented here is that more, the, that more parole and harsher punishments are needed to better the prison system. And with that, the over expenditure, the, the, the claim above of, about, um, <coughs> the claim of, of overspending, if, if parole and harsher punishments are needed for repeat offenders, more money is going to have to be spent. So it's, it the two claims contradict themselves. And according to the third claim, prisoners are, because prisoners are getting put back in their previous social economic standing, they have a lower chance of bettering themselves. In order to change this, shouldn't the inmates be released into a new area to have better, a better chance to improve themselves and better their situation? This idea costs, this is idea was implemented costs money, and if prisons are ineffective, as the advocate claims, why does the current system help some inmates and hinder others? It's all on the inmate and how they play, how they play the cards they're dealt. If an inmate goes into prison without a college degree and then emerges, uh, comes out with a college degree, isn't that not proof that they that they made an attempt to better themselves? And if a prison if the prison system is too over is too overcrowded and more money is needed to help rehabilitate the prisoners. So if funding is cut, it will do nothing but hinder the inmates more. To further refute the claim, if the, con if the conditions themselves to the inmate which are held are poor, in which the inmate is, hel is held are poor, would it not make sense that, that it could not further help the inmate to better themselves due to the fact that the conditions are poor? For example, if, um, if an inmate goes to prison and they have and they, there's a condi condition such as who they're, um, who they're bunked with, it, isn't, isn't that not part of the lesson they're learning? That to the, and that they want to return back to the better conditions of, their, of the previous if, they, if the conditions were better. In conclusion, the claim that I'm refuting is that the prison system fails to work to its full potential. The advocate's claims were that the system is not cost effective, prisons fail to rehabilitate, and the prison conditions fail to produce positive outcomes. Thank you.
All right, you speak clearly, you identify the supporting claims, you give a lot of explanations, you're not always challenging the advocate's use of evidence, and I think one of the things that's missing here is an explanation of how they are drawing their inferences, because sometimes it seems like their inferences are contradictory. That's a point that you seem to be making on the third point. I don't get any evidence on the first point about the amortized costs of prison, but I assume that you found uh, some information that supports that anyway, but uh, there's no source citation on that point. Uh, the argument that it's therefore justified is actually a value claim. On the second point, uh, you do have a challenge on causality, suggesting that it's not prison's responsibility and that uh you know, there does seem to be an assumption here that uh, socioeconomic status is the main cause of crime. And I don't, I mean, that's not been demonstrated. That seems to be largely assumed. I assume that it was also assumed by the advocate in this situation. How your response here explains anything was not particularly clear. On the third point, you said it's better than them not getting any assistance. Uh, you mentioned the cost. Uh, this is again about a justification for a value argument and you did say you know some helped. Uh, you mentioned at one point for instance well it, if they get a college degree while they're in prison they hasn't they improved themselves. It would be really helpful if you could show for instance that anybody is getting college degrees while they're in prison or that the number of those people is going up or that it has had a positive benefit but it's just a question at this point. It's a it's not a declarative statement and it, there's no evidence backing it up. So you raise a lot of interesting questions, but I'm not sure that you've, uh, you know, refuted anything. Uh, you've just allowed us to think about this as opposed to reject the conclusions. All right. Thank you.